What's up guys, this is Dina Dunn and welcome to my truck tour. I was gonna wash my truck before this video, but then I was like, nah, I want it to be as realistic as possible. And plus, who washes their work truck? Well, I started to one time, but only washed half of it, and I have the evidence to prove it. I don't really know what happened, but only half the hood got washed. Thought I'd give you guys a little background story real quick. This is my first truck, Old Blue, a 1991 Dodge Dakota that I actually got for $500 in high school and it ran when we got it. Behind me is my 04 Chevy Silverado, which my dad surprised me with in high school because I was making really good grades. That might shock some of you guys, but a little fun fact, I actually graduated high school with like a 3.5 in the honor society. Not saying I was smart, I just know how to memorize the information to pass the test. Enough of the chit chat, let's get right into this handyman truck tour video. If you're not interested in the truck tour, stick around because what you're going to see is progression. Uh, how my truck started and how it is now and I'm really big on progression. I like to see where I've come from so stick around and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, this truck I got while I was in high school so it wasn't always a work truck. Well I actually take that back. It was always a work truck because a landscape company bought it and it was used for a route. They lost the route. That's how we got the truck. And then I guess I did kind of use it all through high school for odd jobs, landscape type things because I was always doing something. One time I had to haul like a 40 foot ladder before I had the ladder rack and it, it stuck way out. I had to drive down the interstate. It was pretty crazy, but let's get right into the truck tour. Here's a little breakdown of the toolboxes I have on the truck. That's a Northern Tool regular truck bed toolbox on the back and that's about 360 bucks. Then I got this side toolbox, about 200 bucks, which actually used to be over there. I bought this used, the pull out drawer for about 400 bucks. The ladder rack was used for about $300 to actually have it brand new and installed it's like $700. So I saved a lot of money on that. And then the most recent upgrade was this tractor supply box which i'm really digging i really like that something i did about a year ago was put shelves back here took the seats out put shelves i'll break that down a little later on so all the toolboxes and shelf that i just showed you cost about 1600 dollars roughly all together um all the toolboxes do lock which is something I'm not really good about it, it's locking up my toolbox. I need to get better at that. But now let's get into what's in the toolboxes. I feel like the first toolbox I should show you guys is the one I use the most, which is on the driver's side of the truck. That's where most of my DeWalt tools are kept. This is my go bag. I'll go over a little bit of the stuff that's in here. Um, that's my first two bag, go to bag, and going into a house to fix anything. I'm taking that in first. And I put a shelf at the top of this to keep battery chargers and some other tools and then so I could also have those little 3D printed things that hold your batteries. Another thing I'm big on is the organization of my tools. I like to pack my truck up. I don't like anyone else to do it because I like to know exactly where my tools are when I need them because there are certain tools for certain jobs and if you don't have the tool you can't get the job done. So gotta know where your tools are. So like I said, this is my go-to box. This is my go bag with just essential handyman type hand tools. I think I could make like a whole nother separate video on this. So I don't want to go over every tool that's in here and bore you guys. The big Northern tool toolbox with my Spitfire stickers going down the side. I like that. Um, just a bunch of random stuff. This is a bag full of random. Here's another little Dewalt tool stash here. This is a super good thing to have, the Brad Nailer. Um, something that was given to me that actually came in more handy than I thought it would have ever is a router. I was hanging some doors the other day and I used to do it the old school way with a hammer and a chisel. This knocks it out perfectly, quickly, every time. This right here is a Craftsman ratchet set that I actually got on sale for like a hundred bucks, usually like 180. Got my levels and my straight edges. 
And here is where I keep my ratchet straps and just other small things. And then I got a couple sets over there, just a random stuff. This box right here is pretty random. I do know where the stuff is that's in there, but nothing too, too specific in there. To the slide out drawer. This actually came white and really rusty. So we sanded it, painted it black. I wanted to go black because that's the theme of the truck toolboxes at least. So matches everything. And mostly in here is like what I call stock. I got like probably over hundred dollars worth of screws right here. Got all my screws that I use on a regular basis right here. And then I got my tap cons right here. I use those a lot for crawl space doors and anything drilling into concrete or brick. And then this is kind of my HVAC supply too. Got some capacitors, contactors, fuses. And then a lot of times I was having to replace hinges here and there. So I just threw a couple things in there. So mainly just stock in this drawer of screws really. But uh, this super cool drawer, it keeps it weatherproof and I can lock it. And I did say I bought this used, but it did come with the key. So that was nice. Another thing I've started doing a lot, I'm actually low, is keeping scrap wood right here in, in the back. It comes in handy a lot. Pulls me out of a bind a lot. Like yesterday, I was doing a little handyman job and I had to replace a little strip of wood on this door and I had a one by sitting right here. I cut to the size, screwed it in there, caulked it, painted it, worked perfect. Didn't have to make that extra trip to Lowe's, which I dread. You notice I got some tubs back here. This one, I don't go in much. It's got some PVC stuff in that basket that I actually cut to fit into this box. And then buckets. Buckets come in handy doing all types of stuff. If you don't have water right near you, you can fill the bucket up, take it to where you're working. When I replace something in a toilet or a sink, have it under there just so the water doesn't go all over the floor in this pack out box. Now don't get it twisted. I'm not a Milwaukee man. But I got this pack out and it's pretty cool. I do want some DeWalt tough system though. I keep hammers, tow hitch, jumper cables, um, stuff like that in here. Let's come up here to this little box right here. I like this. I keep all my silicones, caulks, and my caulk gun in here. And some rags for when I need a wet rag. This is my side toolbox. And it was empty for a little bit because I didn't know what to put in here. But then I decided to put this little divider in here. And I got all types of deck screws right here. Or they're all the same but different sizes or lengths. And then right here I keep all my drill bits, spade bits, stuff like that. Those are boxes with random taped electrical stuff. And then I just got this not too long ago. The spider bit hole saw. Oh, yep. And just so you know, I'm a Lowe's Pro. Which brings me to today's sponsor of this video. Just kidding. I wish. Forgot to tell you guys about my ladder rack. I actually drove about 45 minutes to go get it. And the guy actually helped us install it. Which was harder than I would have thought it was. The ladder rack has been so useful. This is me putting the rack to use less than a week after I got it. One time, me and my dad used it as a scaffolding system. It was interesting, but hey, it worked. Um, I got this ladder at Lowe's and then this one I got for like a hundred bucks off like Craigslist or Facebook marketplace one of the two and this right here a lot of people ask what's in here well there's more pipe in there just so you know this has been super cool to have keep a lot of my heating and air stuff this is my service bag right here and then my install tray right here but then in these other toolboxes I have plumbing fittings I always get extra fittings when I go. So the other day when I replaced that hose bib, I just went ahead and grabbed an extra one. Then I got multiple caps laying around. So that was my PEX. This is like my CPBC toolbox. I don't do a lot of plumbing. Under here I keep drop cloths, rags, and towels. Now I'm taking you over to the other side of the shelf, which is where I got my DeWalt fan hanging. DeWalt blower hanging and then I got my vacuum down here just by the way this shelf was completely custom built 
there was no real plans or directions just got my wood and just kind of threw it together kind of as i went something kind of cool that i did was put this shelf right in the console area and that's for my notepad which has coupons and just my schedule right in here so it was nice and convenient for it to be right there so i can grab it when i need it i don't know if you guys noticed my beanie but it's actually from my boy my diy adventures he sent that out to me thanks for the hookup man that's gonna wrap up the actual truck tour this video is actually like my first ever requested video i've had a couple people in the comments requesting to make a video about the truck what's in it um someone commented what's that shelf about in the back so there's that video i didn't go into too much detail because it would be a really long video if i did that and really really boring because it'd just be me talking over the camera showing you guys a bunch of stuff if you do want that i could do that but only by request i did try to show you some of my stock and what i have in my truck i can't carry around everything a lot of people have trailers they can fit more stuff in there kind of like a mobile lowe's mobile home depot um the guy handyman headquarters he has a van so he can keep more stuff in there if my dream work truck is a four-door chevy silverado with a, the body on the back i'll put a picture up it's the bo service body on the back that's covered but it's a four-door truck um i like the kuv vans but i like the four-door option of the vehicle just so you can carry more people or more stuff that would be my dream work truck but I'm just gonna ride this puppy out as long as it'll go or I have to have something else to hold more stuff because that's just how I am. So I was thinking about making this video, I was thinking about how much money I actually have invested on this truck, not including the truck, just the boxes and the tools that are in the truck. So I've already shared with you guys that I've spent roughly about $1,600 just on the boxes on this truck. And I started thinking about my DeWalt tools. Now a lot of those have been special buys from Home Depot or a deal here or there at a store that I come across but what I actually came up with was about two thousand dollars bare tools and batteries included batteries are really expensive but really worth having the five amp or six amp ones because they just last longer then I started thinking about all the miscellaneous tools and the ladders that I have on the truck that come up to about 500 that's pretty conservative it's probably more and then i was thinking about the stock on the truck like the screws the plumbing fittings the capacitors everything else i have about 500 dollars, which is also pretty conservative all that adds up to about 4500 dollars um so i'm just gonna go ahead and say 5000 because i know i missed some things so 45 to 5000 dollars which is a lot of money but it's also an investment it's not like i just went and blew the money on whatever shoes and clothes this is stuff that i could turn around and sell a lot of it and at, at this point in time maybe even for really close to what i paid for it even though i would never do that also what makes this stuff valuable is that i can make money with it um i can go do jobs like i do to make money with the tools that i have so all in all a really good investment of tools my dad's doing projects here and there and uh, he just started getting tools. He was always borrowing mine. I'd get nah, aggravated or whatever. Like, I need that for tomorrow. I need to have it. And he just started buying tools. And he's already happy and regretting that he didn't start buying tools sooner. Because he's just more valuable as a person having his own tools and not having to wait on me to do something. So even he's realizing how valuable tools are. I realized it like three years ago when I started. So I encourage anyone out there that doesn't have tools, go ahead and get you some tools. They will pay off in the long run. And anyone out there wanting to get into the trade, go get a job, learn under someone. That's what I did. Um, a contractor around here, worked with them for two years, learned everything I know about construction. Um, I'm also building off that as of right now too, but that was my basis, just getting out there, getting in, actually doing the work, buying tools, getting experience, everything i've learned in heating and air mostly been on the job i did go to school so i had a little bit of knowledge there but there's nothing like on the job training that's my truck tour video and an encouragement to everyone out there to get to work hope you guys enjoyed it if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe hit that like button comment something down below let me know what you think of the video remember to get the j-o-b d-o-n-e this is dean and I'm done.